Well, hello, everybody, and welcome back to a fantastic episode of Rage Shadow Legends. <laughs> I am extremely tired and about to head to bed because it is currently, like, four in the freaking morning, but that's that's perfectly fine. This is the perfect time to record videos, but before I get into the thing, I just wanted to go ahead and let you know that I do all sorts of videos. So if you came here and just stumbled upon my channel to see a Rage Shadow Legends video, awesome. Stick around because there will be more, but don't be surprised if you see something else. So today we're going to go into the portal. I have a void shard and two ancient shards to open up as well as, you know, 15 mystery shards. Um, we're going to go ahead and start off simple with 10 of those mystery shards, which, yeah, you never know. You could pull a rare from that. It's, it's a possibility. Highly unlikely, but I've had it happen a couple of times. Looks like there's nothing but a few uncommons there but i am definitely excited that void shard that's going to be the second one that i managed to get my hands on eh, i'll show you guys the first one that i got the leader who is actually pretty good pretty strong yeah not not, not gonna lie all right i'm bored with these i'm bored with these let's jump straight to the void shard yes okay so it's rare which is fine whoa you are a cool looking sucker Dang, look at you. Let's look at these. Uh, let's look at the reviews first. We're looking at mid fours with Fire Knight's Castle being a fairly low point, but that's okay. Um, you are a defense person. Attacks one enemy. If the hit is critical, place a 15% speed debuff. Places a counterattack buff and 15% continuous heal buff on this champion for two turns. That's pretty cool. Attacks all enemies, has 35% chance of sp placing a sleep debuff for one turn. Oh, and then when, when ascended, it can't be removed. And the aura increase force ally HP in all battles by 18%, which is the same one as that archer that I started with, I'm pretty sure. So that's, that's, that's okay. But let's try an ancient shard. Come on, give me something good. Ah, another rare. That's okay, though. Um, he only has 56 reviews. Whew. Okay, let's do one more. Here we go. An epic? Please? Dang it, another rare. That's fine. Whoa, she just, like, floated herself in. That's pretty cool. I have a couple... I have multiple demon spawns now, but she is only at four, like, low fours, mostly. But that's okay. That's perfectly fine. Let's take a look at the other void hero that I got because I gotta say, I think it's pretty cool. Wherever it... There she is. Look at her. She only has 34 reviews. They're all glowing, though. High fours for the ones that they are. So I hope that that's not just because, you know, she has no reviews. I hope that that means that she's actually pretty dang good because I like her skills. Um, Temporal Burst, definitely it increases cooldowns, which seems really useful. Um, block buffs, debuffs, all that stuff, and then weaken debuff. You know, the stuff. Plus, she's a Dark Elf, which means I can have her do stuff with this Dark Elf, who is, you know, pretty, pretty tight. Free tight indeed. I like him quite a bit. But I, I guess I, I guess uh, that was okay. Didn't really get anything particularly exciting. But I do need to really flesh out the um, the champions that I've got because I need to actually be able to get through those faction war things because I suck at them. I really do. But that's going to be the video as soon as I open this one up. Okay, and that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.